Hey everyone, today I'll be reviewing the course software development process that I took back in the spring 2023 semester as part of Georgia Tech's OMSCS program. For those that are new here, my name is Sam. I recently graduated from OMSCS in the spring 2024 semester, and I came into the program not having an undergraduate CS degree. This is the fifth video in a 10 part series where I review each of the courses that I took in OMSCS. And as a reminder, I'm releasing a new video every Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific. As always, the official course page will be in the description. So a little bit of background on this course. I took it along with another course, Human Computer Interaction, which I reviewed in last week's video. In the previous semester, I had taken Graduate Intro to Operating Systems, which is a pretty difficult course. So I was looking for a lighter course that had some easier programming. And I also didn't do computer science in undergrad and only had some junior level software engineering experience professionally. So I thought that this course would have some practical and useful information for me. As for content of the course, the lectures cover a wide range of topics in software development. So these are things like version control, using IDEs, using object-oriented programming and test-driven development. You look at the software development lifecycle and the Agile method, as well as different software architecture design patterns and how to illustrate those using UML diagrams. There were six assignments, all of them were in Java, and these covered topics from the lectures like using Git, developing a Java program, using test-driven development with JUnit tests, building a simple Android app, as well as architecting a software project using UML diagrams. There was also a group project where we created an Android app that could compare different job offers. And we also had to write up some supporting documents like a design doc and a test plan. At the end of the course, there was also an individual project where we created a file parsing command line program that took in different flags to modify the behavior of the program. As for pros of the class, I did enjoy the lectures. I thought that they were really engaging and covered a wide range of topics in software engineering and just overall made me excited about software development. For the most part, I do think that the assignments were also well designed, although they definitely erred on the side of being too easy. There also weren't any exams in this course, which can definitely be a pro for some. And finally, the highlight of this course for me was the group project. I was grouped with two professional software engineers and I learned a lot from them. They were really good teammates. I was able to build out the entire backend and design of our database and I learned a lot doing that as well. And I found it interesting to draft up the different design documents because my experience building software was always centered around the actual programming and it was interesting to have to take a step back and write up our plan for the app before actually building it out. As for cons of the course, the big one is that the course is just really, really light. I think that I definitely could have learned a lot more if the course was more rigorous, and I just left feeling like there was a lot about software development that I still didn't know. As part of this, I do think that the lectures are very surface level. It would be great if they could go a little bit more in depth. And there were two essays that were signed at the end, that I really enjoyed and it made me wish that we had readings assigned throughout the semester, similar to a course like Human Computer Interaction. I think especially having some sort of case studies from real world software projects or even academic papers like we saw in Graduate Intro to Operating Systems would have been great. The course ends with a final assignment on testing as well as an individual project where we build that command line program for parsing a file. And this final assignment and that individual project made up 40% of the grade, and they definitely weren't 40% of the work. So I definitely think that that could be restructured. I spent the majority of my time in this course on the group project, but that project wasn't weighted as heavily as these final assignments. So that also just felt a little bit weird. So as for recommendations, I could recommend this class to someone who doesn't have any professional software engineering experience or just very, very junior level experience. This class is really light, so you could definitely pair it with a course too if you're looking to do that. 
And my overall impression of the class is that I learned some useful Git commands and some interesting software design patterns. But other than that, I definitely could have learned a lot of this information on my own. So that's it for this review. In my next video, I'll review the course that I took in the summer 2023 semester, which was Introduction to Information Security. So I'll see you then.